This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston. The first part of this word was released on October 5, 2023. And, the second part was released on September 25, 2021. Part 1 I heard the Lord say, Stand and watch my deliverance and recompense come in full. For I have seen the robberies and the depletion coming to wear you down on every side. I have seen the tide of injustice coming against you in the years of slander and witchcraft. I have seen the hijackers prowling and the usurpers usurping to sweep and to take what I promised you. But know this, those days are numbered, and while it has felt like the enemy has prospered, watch now as I turn it around. For this is the season I am chasing the foxes out of your soul and evicting the lions that have kept you contained. This is the season I am dealing with, the imposter spirit, the muzzling spirit, and the hijack to your destiny. But it will not come by your hand, but mine. Let me do the exposure. Let me vindicate. Let me exonerate you and right the wrongs of the assassination attempt on your life. For what the enemy has tried to diminish shall only now shine brighter, and what he tried to conceal will only now gain favor. You have said, Why does it feel like my voice is less punch? Why does it seem like I'm hidden? Yes, can you see the game at play? But now the fishbowl will break, and the fog sent around you will disperse, and you will hear your voice shake the earth, and the new message that has been developing in you hit its mark. Part 2 I heard this booming on the inside, it's time to get Goliath's voice out of your head. It's time to cut off all access to the tormenting voice of the enemy that has been stealing your hope and amp, joy, robbing your peace, your sleep, your vision and future, and sending you into utter defeat. It's time for freedom and wholeness after a season of noise, chatter, and being in the thick onslaught of daily mind games and mental warfare. It's been his voice telling you that it's over for you and there's no way forward or out of the rut you have been in. It's been his voice attempting to shut you down and keep you in your sickbed. It's his voice trying to lie to you, blindfold you, depress you, and oppress you. It's his voice wanting you to stay in anxiety, feeling lost, scattered, and directionless. It's been his voice trying to accuse you, slander you, and disqualify you. It's his voice telling you there's no future and hope. It's his voice reminding you of the failures you have had. It's his voice bringing dirt up from your past and trying to get you to wear the shame you have already walked through again. It's his voice trying to keep you in a loop of bitterness, rehearsing what people said and how they treated you. It's his voice baiting you into fighting flesh and blood instead of principalities and powers. It's his voice trying to make you drop your sword, give up, and forfeit right now. It's been his voice mocking the calling and purpose God has given you and it's been his voice trying to keep you barren and never birthing it. If this has been what you have experienced, let me pray for you today. I believe God wants to set you free and deliver you from the tormenting assignment of the enemy that leads you into bondage when God is trying to bring you into promise and increase. I command all tormenting voices and demonic assignments of lies, intimidation, slander, bullying, and mental warfare to be disarmed and destroyed now in Jesus' name. No more sleepless nights, nightmares, anxiety, panic episodes, fear, PTSD, or heaviness anymore, in Jesus' name. Spirit of death and suicide, get off the people of God now. I see you trying to weave your false narrative and futureless predictions into the hearts of the church, and you must go now. But I promise you, no weapon meant to hurt you will succeed, and you will refute every accusing word spoken against you. Isaiah 54 verse 17 Every false word must crumble and be reversed now. Goliath's words of mockery must fall to the ground fruitless now. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Revelation 12 verse 11 Now, church, it's time to hear the voice of God louder than anything else in the days to come. John 10 verse 27 says, My sheep hear my voice, 
and I prophesy that we will hear his voice and be his sheep, not sheep blindly led by the enemy's fear propaganda anymore in Jesus' name. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co. Hi there, in this prophetic word, God wants you to stand and watch His deliverance and recompense come in full. You will hear your voice shake the earth, and the new message that has been developing in you hit its mark. The tide of injustice has come against you, and you've been dealing with imposter spirit, the Muslim spirit, and the hijacker of your destiny. But God is delivering you from that, so let God do the exposure and vindicate and exonerate you. They will fight for you. And work on renewing your mind and get the Goliaths out of your head. And as you do, your deliverance and recompense will come in full, and you will hear your voice shake the earth, and the new message that has been developing in you will hit its mark. Are you sensing that this word is for you? Do you feel God forming a new message in you? Do you feel like your voice needs more punch? Do you feel like you are hidden? Have you been battling with imposter syndrome? Now take the time to decide you want to partner with this word or not. The choice is yours and it's for you to decide. Now if you decide to partner with this word, you can express your faith through words and actions. Faith through words. Write down and speak out personalized prayers, decrees and declarations using the prophetic word in the verses you've gathered. Faith through actions. In your scheduled time with the Lord, ask Him for eyes to see what He sees in you and cut off the Goliaths in your head. Again, just a reminder, prophetic words don't automatically happen. You have to fight for them and do your part as a partner with God. That's it for going through the 8-step framework with me. Now I leave you with a pray along video if you want to partner with this word. Pray out loud as the Father wants to hear your voice. See you in the next one. Bye. Heavenly Father, all-loving Father, King of glory, my protector and defender, my all-seeing and all-knowing God, Thank you for seeing and knowing the battles I am facing. I will stand and watch my deliverance and recompense come in full. The enemy tried to diminish me, but you want me to shine brighter. The enemy tried to conceal me, but I now gain favor. You are my mighty warrior, Lord, and you go before me to fight my battles for me. You will expose what is hidden and vindicate and exonerate me. Because you care for me, Lord. Forgive me for partnering with the lies of the enemy. And, I know now that you strengthen me to do all things for your glory and purpose. I command all tormenting voices and demonic assignments of lies, intimidation, slander, bullying, and mental warfare to be disarmed and destroyed now in Jesus' name. I receive your peace and rest, Lord. You are my shepherd, and I am your sheep. I hear your voice. And, you lead me to the path to full deliverance, recompense, and redemption. Everything that Jesus has bought for me, I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen.